Well, good morning. I have Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, for you. All right. sending in your photographs and how thrilled you were to have it as part of the final selection. Thank you so much, actually, for putting this project together. Uh, it's really nice to see, like, in the UK. It looked really awesome. Uh, like, we're not experiencing this. Mm. It's stuff. Everybody is as well. That was really cool. Thank you so much. No, not at all, Sammy, but this is really to celebrate you guys and all the amazing community work that was happening around lockdown and to really celebrate that and really highlight it as well because the work that you were doing was you know off your own back and, and things like that seeing where you could help out and um, to the community that you're living in and I think it shows real community spirit so thanks goes to you and the well done goes to you really how did you first of all get to work with the food hub what inspired you to go down there and start working with them my girlfriend Helen she works for the NHS she works at Gosh uh, okay, Great Home yeah. Yeah. Hospital and she was participating in the Nightingale like the organisation yeah. but she ended up getting COVID, like the same weekend we moved to London, right? Oh, I moved no. to London. As we were quarantined, I looked out the window and I saw this woman, right? And I was like, oh, mm. interesting. Mm. I wonder what that is. Then we finished the quarantine, like two weeks later, and then I can go out. I said, yeah, let me go and see if I need help. What's that about? Yeah. So that's when I met Michelle. It's like, okay, so if you want to thank someone, that's the person you got to thank, because that's a woman. She is unstoppable. Like, she got a heart of gold. She worked so hard for her community. Yeah. Like she created this food hub so long ago, like years ago, and she kept working on it. It was all about collecting surplus food to help yeah. battle hog the hunger. First day that I went there, it just happened that the photographer, Gray, mm. he's actually the one who submitted the photo. Yeah. Gray okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, I can see his name, yeah. He was covering the food hub as part of the National Geographic Society's Emergency Fund for Journalism. Fascinating. So cool. Yeah, and he would just happen to be there whilst you were, like the whilst you were there. Yeah. No way. And like, I think Michelle just like, said, okay, uh, Sammy, why don't you go talk to Gray? And yeah. I think it was because, like, I, was only, I, don't, I don't even know why, but like, for some reason, I like, so I was one of the three people. It was me, yeah. Michelle, and another Michelle. And then Gray had to go. No. Like, so it was literally like yeah. a fleeting moment in that period of time. And then Exactly. And like that little amazing. moment back to us here. <laughs> and then did he say that he was entering the photograph of you? No, <laughs> no. He just told me. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> like, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, send me a message. I entered this competition. And I was like, wow. Oh. That is so amazing. Sammy, your story is really fascinating and this is what the whole reason for doing this was really to bring to light stories like yours and to really highlight the amazing work out there. So I'm really glad that Gray submitted your photograph. I think there was sort of a real desperate need, wasn't there? I think the struggles that families and kids had were there anyway, but then it's just everything's been exacerbated. That's exactly how it was and it's like... I learned so much in my time as a volunteer there. Mm. Can I, like, in connecting with the volunteers, that's for life, you know? Yeah. Like, I also learned the power of empathy, you know? Of yeah. compassion, of community. Like, by watching the volunteers, like, and Michelle in particular, like, she would work, like, from 7 until, like, 11 p.m., going out to her stuff to get, but to, to help the community. And it was like, it's a force of nature. It's like, well, absolutely. And, and this is the thing. It's, there's lots of great work going out, on out there and actually it's being able to bring it to the forefront and to remind people that, you know, although it might not be on their doorstep, but actually this sort of amazing work is going on in communities. And that's why part of the photography project is really just highlighting different acts of kindness and different ways right. in which we've all pulled together. And we felt yeah. was really important. And how are you finding your time here in the UK? Do you like living here? I loved it. I loved it. It was really yeah. special. You know, like I made like memories that that I'll cherish forever. It's really, yeah. really special. And you've seen at the heart of the British community as well, haven't you? You sort of lived exactly. and breathed exactly. it. And, and that's what really, really, really made me really appreciate appreciate the UK. You know, having that because yeah. that's like such a deep connection. Like that's on a human level that transcends like where you're from. It's like mm. it's all about like seeing other people as people and, and connecting. Yeah. That was that was magic. That's yeah. magic. Well, best of luck to you and your girlfriend. I wish you every happiness in the future. Thank you. And to and you too. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And, and good luck. Keep up that volunteering. Thank too. you. Bye-bye.